We'll try to do some voices with this, so hopefully it'll be consistent. The 41st millennium, a time of darkness and war. Imperium of Man claims the whole galaxy in the name of the God Emperor. He fights an endless war against Xenos from without, heretics from within, and supernatural horrors from beyond. Alongside the Imperium's war fleet serve the Adeptus Mechanicus. They are the tech priests of Mars, guardians and reclaimers of humanity's technology, ever searching for remnants of knowledge from man's glorious past. Exploring the depths of the galaxy for worlds long lost to mankind. In the name of their machine god, they manufacture the Imperial War Machines within gigantic foundries, known as Forge Worlds. Gradually, the tech priests of the Adeptus Mechanicus shed their human weaknesses, replacing their limbs and organs with machinery that is both stronger and spiritually pure. Their leaders, the inscrutable Magi, Protect the Forge worlds and explore the furthest corners of the galaxy with their cohorts of Skitari troops. It is a time of warfare, tragedy, importance of doom. Across this belighted, united galaxy, the Adeptus Mechanicus are one of mankind's last defenses against the new Dark Age. Or perhaps, they will be the ones to hasten its dawn. An echo in the Neurosphere, Magos. An old transmission lost in the warp, and recovered only now. Is it worthy of our attention? The great divide torments the galaxy. The resources of the Adeptus Mechanicus are stretched thin. We are weaker than ever, though the Imperium at large knows it not. This represents an unknown, but possible key to victory. An opportunity to research. Perhaps avert the ill fate that has befallen us. The transmission's origin is Silver Tenebri, part of the Amasis Solaris, with an Ultima Segmentum. Search the rolls, Redditus. Gather them. Four months later. Accessing Margo's Racer class log entry. Whoever finds this transmission and follows me here, give thanks that you will see what I have seen. But be wary, my fellow seekers of knowledge. Whatever lies beneath this world, I fear. I hope. I have woken it. I came to this world to investigate its ruins, but I found so much more. Terrors, yes. Threats to body and soul. But by the Omnissiah, I found such wonders. This is the last transmission of Margus Rissok. He vanished while on it and explored a mission to investigate Xeno structures on Silver Tenebrae. Hypothesis. He found something. Our mission on this world is to ascertain any Xenos presence and, if we find it, eliminate it as a threat to the Imperium. The opening of the Great Divide means we can call on no additional support from the Forge Worlds. We must achieve this with the troops and resources we bring with us. Benefit Analysis Peace for Sector Knowledge for Mankind Triple Positive Potential Triple positive opportunity. An opportunity to destroy the works of Xenos, Skivola. Not appropriate them. Thim's cry in manuscripts, verse 619. What the enemy built, let it be made asunder. For to us it will be as a house of sand and knives. Magi, we are approaching the target coordinates. Sinking with Seistus and Metallica, requesting warp travel state. Nearby planet detected. We're going in. For the brothers and the cohort. Exiting the Imperium. The 
location. Eastern fringe. Planet Savatana. Our crusade marches on. As I said, hopefully the voices will be consistent with this. There she is. Temperate climate. Atmosphere standard. Breathable. My Skitari troops should be able to operate down there without trouble. Are they ready to make landfall? As soon as we're in a stable orbit, Magus. Administrative records indicate a single colony, St. Eckert's. Hope. On the surface near the Xenos ruins. No contact recorded in two centuries. Colony presumed failed. Skidari would deploy to the surface near the ruins along with a team of tech priests under my direct command. I shall monitor them from the command throne on board. Server Skull Redditus will serve as my eyes on the surface. We'll make landfall at once. Yes, Marcus. I'll set up a forward command post. Rysok's transmission looks like it came from underground. We'll secure any entrances to an underground structure so your tech priest can begin the exploration. So we're in a new sector. Once brutalist and oppressive, it's designed to crush the spirits of its inhabitants. Time to see if we can find any necros. Going by our fragmentary information, it looks like a buried tomb structure. The soul of the underside is ready to fall. We deploy it immediately. Let secrets of this world equal zero. I can't solve caution, Margos Faustinius. Our purpose should be here to destroy the threatened alien, not to bask in its blasphemy. A forest sims of the Logic Saints, 791. In the presence of the Xenos lies the invisible miasma of corruption. The structure is not possible from orbit physics. The structure is too deeply buried. It's Kivola. I have no intention of plundering whatever trinkets I can find from this place. The Explorator Unit of Tech Priests is inside the tomb and ready to proceed, Marcos. There's no telling what we'll find. My men will hold the permit in case of the unexpected. It would be a folly to commit our whole manpower to the unknown, especially when the potential of a moral threat exists that the Skitari are less able to withstand. I have the greatest respect for my Skitari. They are still far from the ascension of the tech priest of Fallen. I agree, Sultania. I shall lead the mission in person from the command throne. Server so Skull Redditus shall be my eyes and ears in the ground. The sire be praised. We're going in. The Adeptus Mechanicus are a curious breed. They explore and interact with machines they do not fully understand. In this tutorial, you'll have to explore the interface to discover what to do. Like the true, true tech priests, you must experiment in order to learn. I we'll hope you at this one time. Use left mouse button to navigate. Xenos hieroglyphs. I know of them. They are my undoers. Necrons. Mysterious. Ill researched. Corruptive. This could be a rare sample of the Necron language, Magus. You have barely any knowledge of it. Collecting the data from this obelisk could prove. Move our understanding of our language ahead for the first time in centuries! This work of alien, Marcos. Codex Fulminatus 8312. Show caution and scorn in all things. Sometimes take preschool feedback and information about what they encounter. These situations will require you, our commander, to make decisions. There will be consequences, so choose wisely. 
think. I'm going to screw the detecting a massive energy spike from earlier inside the tomb. Something's happening in there. Something huge. Also known as Blackstone. Request collection immediately. That cries. Aristoc didn't count on him after all. Every datum we have says they are as deadly as they are inhuman. The cohort encounters resistance in the form of Xenos constructs, not flesh and blood creatures, but artificial bodies that move with precision and coordination. Combat will be joined according to the long-established tenets of the Adeptus Mechanicus, for good or ill. Zero's form detected. What is his cognitive now function for synthetic forms? Overwhelming excitement. Finally, we can study this standard construct, Necron Warrior. Weak spots detected. Positive none. Concerning. I wonder about the symbols emblazoned on our torsos. It must. Do not underestimate Ghost Weaponry. Highly volatile. This is true. I've heard our brothers and sisters of the Mechanicus have lost their lives trying to solve the mysteries of Xenos' weapons. Approach with caution. It is also double checking cognitors. Widely known that they will plus self, minus repair, plus reanimate, or positive reconstruct. Themselves have left the time to do so. Wounds that would instantly kill a Skitari are the equivalent to a Class C graze the Necrons. Of every fight. You must decide the location of your units in the field of battle. You can only place units on the highlighted squares. Click on the square to place the units. Select the units down here. And it looks like that one has a melee. You have positive so we'll go here. Click with the blue outline surrounding your unit. Then you can confirm the movement. To decline the movement, simply right click. Click anywhere. You've just moved your attack priest to a source of cognition points. Represent the valuable information the tech priests are harvesting. There are several ways to collect CP. The fastest way is by moving your tech priest to a close source of you CP. There are many other ways to collect CP. So look around to find out what they are. Cognition points or CP are stored at the bottom of the screen and CP gauge. A shared team source. So plan accordingly. Server score. Score the faithful servant of the other sire augments it to use useful companion. Every tech priest has their own server score. They are very helpful in combat and cognition points collection. Select an enemy to find out its battle statistics.
We revealed the statistics and stats of this enemy. Knowing your enemy's stats will greatly increase your chances of success. Servo scores reveal the hit points, physical armor, and energy armor statistics. You then decide what weapon types physical or energy work best against this target. You are just about to move using cognition mode. This happens when you move within the orange movement outline. Confirming the movement will use CP, allowing your tech priest to move faster. When you enter melee combat and you chase the square to an enemy, you are unable to use your ranged weapons as a too dangerous enemy to use at close range. Full of brotherhood! When an enemy moves out of your melee range, a violent unit has a melee weapon, the enemy will trigger an opportunity attack. An opportunity attack gives your unit a free melee attack on the unit. Each unit can only perform one opportunity attack per round. Kill the Necron unit with a critical hit. When you kill, critically kill a Necron, they are unable to activate their reanimation protocols and are instantly teleported from battle. Be able to call in other members of your cohort as the battle goes on. This will happen at the start of every round. You'll need cognition points to the troops. The mechanic is there are two types of units to control. Tech priests, which you use for the command, or troops, such as the ones you've just deployed into the battlefield. Troops are your servants and cannon fodder. They do not have access to many weapons and skills as tech priests. However, they are useful and should not be overlooked. Killing Necrons isn't simple. Necrons are made of self repairing metal that is able to knit together dismembered limbs and gaping wounds. We call this the reanimation protocol. When a Necron is in the reanimation protocol, they are unable to fight but will return to fighting condition soon. Dealing any amount of damage to a Necron in this protocol state will destroy them indefinitely. No threats remain. All Xeno life forms purged. Your cohort's HP amount carries over from each fight within a mission. Keep this in mind when exploring a tomb, and look out for opportunities to repair. Hypothesis formulation. So Sarcophi. Coffins. Burial places. Structural purpose for designation. Tomb. In the chambers ahead are several groups of structures like unbright coffins of an unknown material. We can choose to destroy, we can ignore, or have intrigue. Attack priest open fire on the sarcophagi. The structures prove all but impermeable to normal small fire arms fire. 
But components of the strange necron materials are stripped away and can be salvaged by the cohort for examination and repurposing. To exploit the chamber for several minutes, a tile on the foot clicks. The sound of whirring energy builds up around your troops. A quick omnispec scan reveals you're surrounded on all sides by Xenos life forms. Kill enemies. If you've gathered enough cognition points to be able to use the seat. You've gathered enough cognition points to be able to use a CP powered weapon. Some weapons like the Phosphorus Serpenta require CP to use. Look to the right hand side of each action to learn the CP cost of that action. Opportunity equals knowledge. Gather. Must obtain. Required! Scares detected. Source data surfacing. Life force detected. Area safe. Continue forward. Relatives, verify your cogitators. Then tell me what surface from Margos or Sax cogitators. Scarabs. Unknown Xenos race. Biology. Synthetic. Possible artificial intelligence. Once specimens gathered, AI theory is false. Personal recording. Makes the study show that many variants of scabs, each with their own roles within Xenos economy and architecture, able to build and deconstruct anything they encounter. They're able to prepare other units within their species with lightning speed. Be warned, you're deadly when in large swarms. It appears the main spirit is with us. We've been able to access some more of Rasak's data. We thought it was corrupt. Must be due to us recording the Xenos forms that the machine spirit has blessed us with access to these cogitator records. It's unsure why he would lock us under a synthetic proximity encryption. Statistics of this target. As a result, the amount of damage is unknown. Service score specialized weapons and other skills reveal the life of an enemy.
used all possible actions for this unit, and there's nothing more I can do. Press the end turn button at the bottom. Conservators are hit in combat. Tech priests take an interest, quickly noting down damage angles. Projectile speeds and other useful combat information to be used later against their enemies. This is represented by gaming. We put mission point. Servitors are very useful units in all of missions. Just delay this unit's turn. Delaying a unit's turn will move it to the end of the initiative queue. You cannot delay a unit's turn more than once. All weapons have sacred machine spirits within them. The more you use a weapon, the more charged it becomes. When your machine spirit is charged, you will get a buff to the attack of that weapon. Each weapon's machine spirit will charge at a different rate. This is shown underneath the weapon's icon. When you select the weapon, you will see the buffs to the machine spirit within its weapon. Attack. Just attack this top of the way somewhere far beyond our reach. In practical terms, this means you've killed the target. Represents a location significant of importance to your mission. Entering these rooms brings you closer to the end of the mission. Negative signs of hostile forces. Seeking permission to proceed with data collection protocols. Confirmed. Permission authorized. Acknowledged, Magus. Protocol begins. What is primary focus, sire? Knowledge of Necro forces, numbers, defenses, and locations. Any form of data on how many remain on this rock. Secondary. Source the purpose of this tomb. Why it was built. The face devices are all but eroded. There is one device that may hold answers, but Necron data looms. Are incomprehensible to Imperium Architect. This might take a while. Idea. Magos. If I may take host of this priest, I could be of assistance. Approved. The spheric interfacing complete. How did the cipher purpose? List of suggestions, Margos. Positive deconstruct device. Positive activate switch mechanisms. Positive learn Necron language. And return later. What will it be, sire? Always so meticulous with your list tech acquisition. Engage on Xenos mechanisms. Although I do de I detest to do so. The promises of the rewards are too great to ignore. Having to lower ourselves to the Xenos learnings may be the only way to reach the architect we seek. Protocol updated. Confusion. A spheric interference? Disconnect at once. Purged. Reset. This fear is gonna complete possibly scrap code. We're we'll fragment now. Fragmenting. Sire. We have unfavorable issue to deal with. Requesting Dominus input. Fragmenting. Explain. 
Let's take a quiz to skip all the suddenly left my cogitators against augmentations and sporadic reaction protocols and a fried vial sign. Regitories. Unclear full damage report. The Necron device is now activated, sire. Fragmenting. 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 Frag. Remove yourself from the nose first, Gavola. Redditus, report! The room is waking, sire. Reports from Skitari cohorts across the planet note that tremors vex their locals. We've lost contact with the Skitari that were covering the entrance to this tomb. We can hear noises of approaching forces. Improved protection protocols, load weapons are ready for what is to come. We must face the Xenos. I wake with the turning of aeons. Stars yet burn, life yet blossoms. Is it truly time? Thrones of Mars! What was that? An omnilinguistic transmission, Margos. It seems these mute constructs are not the only inhabitants of the structure. What is this? Flesh and steel combined. A mockery of both. Their every footstep a blasphemy. What manner of galaxy is this into which I have awoken? Principal Xehanos war form sight to exotic energy signatures past sensor range. Designate Xehanos Abominatus. High value target confirmed. The hunt is on. What are your orders, orders Marcus? We go how it reaches a large tomb, a large chamber beneath the first layers of the Xehanos ruins. Bridges stretch from balancing platforms barely holding themselves together, while rubble falls from the high walkways like breadcrumbs escaping into the abyss below. I can come, Argus, but I fear this foe will not let us give us leave to depart. Insects. This galaxy is infested with vermin. Green light flickers into life from within the shadows. The cohort prepares for the worst as skeletal silhouettes start to form in front of the shadows. Tech priests must escape. This is the final battle tutorial. Apply what you've learned so far to strive for. The 41st millennium is a brutal place. You may lose this battle, but not the war. In Mechanicus, there are many alternate, alternate paths to discover.
zero 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 one has died. Do not worry. Troops who can and find the design to protect your tech priest from enemy attacks. Without tech priest, you should be fair.
could do. The cohort successfully escaped from the Xenos life forms. Report, Kepra. Well, we got the squad out alive, Marcos. Last count as a victory under the circumstances. We encountered a Necron war form of capability well beyond our expectations. Yes. We don't need to hold that much. However, one battle won is not a success. We will eventually face losses on this mission. When this happens, we must press on. Beyond our failures to reach success. And there is something else. The reanimation. The Necrons are waking up. It started when we risked stumbled on the tomb, but our arrival is accelerating the process. That obelisk may have been a form of intruder alarm, and that a sarcophagi in the tomb hall is starting to open. We no longer enjoy the luxury of time. Whatever we do on Silver Tenebrae, it must be done before the Necrons awaken completely. We do not even know yet how far the tomb complex extends. The hand of the gunman on the side preserve us if our duty is ever easy. I return sorrow and despair from my emotional calls. I see they lack the logic to determine decision making. Instead, I choose to quarantine them and adjust our approach. The word of the Omnissiah teaches us that when one method fails, another must be sought until all are exhausted. And what are your orders, Marcus? This guitar will explore the chamber chamber by chamber and maintain a foothold. My tech priests will be deployed to achieve crucial objectives and respond to crises. Time may be a factor, but our mission can only be achieved with the thoroughness of a full deployment. I shall mobilize this guitar immediately, Magos. Opportunity detected. Leader forms of Necrons rarely ever observed. Potential of triple positive. Intelligence on Necrons added to some total of human knowledge. Imperative. Focus on acquiring artifacts, intelligence data from. <laughs> Hold your blasphemous tongues, Gavola. You counsel the abandonment of our very souls. Life of Ark Margos Boralsis, Appendix 9. Our only objective should be death to the alien in all his works. All else is deviance from the Omnissiah Creed. If intelligence gain equals true, then go to victory. Aphorism retrieval. To face an enemy unknown is to fight in the dark. Better in ignorance than in heresy. I return frustration from conflict and choose to experience it. There will be bloodshed enough on Silver Tenebrae without the Magi coming to blows. In our purpose, we are united. This is the will of the Old Asylum. And it shall be done. Yes, it shall be done. The readings from the tomb are troubling. Skitari have been monitoring the structure we uncovered and what they have found gives me grave concern. <laughs> Explorer and biologists. The Necron construct forms are waking up. It seems Mago's race like accidentally began the process, and our intrusion into the structure has hastened it. These Necron reanimation protocols Continuing in the tomb we entered. From the energy spikes across the region, there are structures yet to be uncovered. My plan for exploration of the Silver Tenery will locate these structures and contain the construct within. I have detected repeating patterns of the animation protocols, and the raid necrons are awakening. They are speeding up. The Necrons are machines. Machines act according to patterns and programs. The animation protocols continue to accelerate, they will fully awaken every Necron on this planet in 264 hours. Given the extent of the buried structures, 
that will constitute an echo of all make beyond the suspicion that abilities contain. No time here is limited. Strategic calculations indicate time spent deployed on missions will affect the overall number of missions we'll be able to deploy. I will send Skatari scouting parties to discover other tombs and create forward positions for your high priority mission, sire. As the threat on Silver Tenebrae is not asserted and eliminated before re full reanimation is reached, we'll be forced to abandon the planet. Look at the top left corner of the screen. This is the Necron Awakening meter. It shows you how many Necron tombs have awoken in Silver Tenebrae. Try and gather as much information and tech before reaching 100. I feel they are right. I feel too. And as part of my humanity, I've chosen to retain my quarantine in my neuro vaults and choose instead to focus on what must be done. We must choose our missions wisely. Not easy. Unless I did not send us here to make the policy. The threat to humanity and persons of this world will be eliminated. But we shall not leave. Thus, the equation is balanced. It is the will of the machine god. New sector located. Welcome to the Cetus Metallica, an Arkham Mechanicus class battleship. This class of ship is one in the largest of Imperium. It is only afforded to the Adeptus Mechanicus. From here, you'll be able to customize your tech priest to prepare for missions ahead. You can select the missions from the character portraits on the screen. Before we go into a mission, we should inspect and equip our tech priest. Head over to the cohort tab. Welcome to the Cohort Corvus. Here you can see all the available tech priests and troops. Units currently unlocked. Troops are usually shown at the top of the screen. Here you can see what skills each troop has available and statistics for each unit. Shown in the bottom six slots, a tech priest. Let's click on them to begin customization. Welcome to this customization screen. There are many ways to customize a tech priest. Change their weapons, body augments, backpack, upgrades, and more. You can upgrade a tech priest. Head to the disciplines button. The tech priest portrait now. This is the discipline screen. From here you can upgrade your tech priest using Blackstone. Each discipline is focused on a different playstyle. Select one of the six skills. From now. So we have reveal enemy statistics when they melee range. They gain. One damage for movement crit chance. Your next weapon cognition cost is down by two points. You can generate a cognition at the beginning of the turn. Cleanse the target of negative effects and you gain a negative effects less. One turn less. Or you can get plus four range for we ranged weapons. For you, I will do in order to upgrade, you must have enough blackstone. When you rank up, you'll gain augment slots, skills, and body parts. Having a diverse team is advised, however, the choice is all yours. Tech priests can be multidisciplined, meaning they can learn skills from more than just one discipline. You have enough augment capacity to equip this tech priest with a weapon. You can see the capacity for items within his tooltips. Drag your weapons to the slot using this mouse. You'll take up one of your tech priest augment slot capacities. To gain more AC slots, upgrade your tech priest. Oh, 
enough, it seems to. Choose which tech priest and choose to take on the mission. Use left mouse button to add a unit to the Arvis Light to transport. Remove a unit from its selection with right click. Tech Inquisitor Skivola, I asked you on this mission because of your experience with surveying alien artifacts and organisms. The soul of the Herod Sixus Daichi's Eight can plunder this world for its secrets. The assertion equals false. If objection, concerns, offense, go to a different mission. I leave you free to do as you will. The Terralect of Logic, Skivola. Machinarians, 16-4. Watch your brother, for his sin of heresy is thy sin of tolerance. Silver so ten years evaluation commences. Positive wonders, positive opportunities, positive secrets. Rare chance for discovery, intelligence, on Xenos must not fail to exploit. The logic of your enthusiasm lose, research inquisitor. My emotional cause return only peril to our mission. Personnel the threat to the awakening Xenos. Therefore, I am on this mission. I roll and gather. Intelligence. Seek truth. Return to human comprehension. Dictates of Mars retrieval. Gather knowledge for the good of all. And how are you to go about that, Skivola? Field operations in person make me so optimal. Sending tech priests instead optimal. First objective, gather field specimens for study. Location, Tomb of Ecropus. Commence immediately. Given the reports of the tomb of Acropus, there should be plenty of samples there for you to collect, Magos. Of course. But first you'll have to kill them. My talents. You got this session after the fact. I leave the location. Identification. Execution. To your tech priest, Magos. I trust this will be worth the effort, Skivola. No mere labor servitors we are risking in these tombs. These are men and women. Fellow devotees of the cult of Calicus. Agreed, ma. Valid point raised. Ensure human corpses are returned as well. Positive opportunity to study the effects of Necron technology on human positive flesh. The Killing Jar, deployment number one. So as we progress, the meter will increase. Self preservation for curiosity. Conflict unresolved. Serious of knowing what purpose chamber serves. The chamber ahead is lined with glowing green cinders, each pulsing with power. The air is thick and greasy, and arcs of static electricity leap from the cohort's extremities as they approach. This chamber is almost certainly extremely dangerous. It is the only way forward. Quick thinking, Magus. When problem exists, positive, true. Correct application of tech law equals always successful. So we gain one awakening, but we've also increased by two seconds. 
I know it wasn't stated, but WASD is for the camera. Warning. Our presence has been detected. Necrons are waking in presence. In response to our presence within the tomb. Just travel through each tomb. Defense systems will start activating. This increases the difficulty of the mission. The longer you spend in the tomb, the harder the mission becomes. Exploring the depths of the tomb isn't without reward. There are unknown am amounts of lost knowledge to be found for those willing to dig deeper. Speculation. Tombs possess autonomous repair, defense, maintenance capabilities. Further study. Yes. Have some collected for me, Fustinius. Conclusion commences. Scarabs are not individual constructs, but resources of the tomb itself. The whole tomb is full of necron constructs. Commence formulation. Wondrous kaleidoscope of hypotheses. SCP and 51 Blackstone. So these green rooms are actually part of finding special things. So now it's a random chance. A single port device of a Necron can can a tech creature extrudes from the device. Illuminated. Study required. This chamber shows signs of having been the scene of a brutal gunfight. Two Skitari lie dead, with marks from Goth's blasts all over the walls. Cohort pauses only to speak passages of the cult's mechanicist scriptures, asking for the proper passage of the dead to join the supreme intelligence of the Omnissiah. The dissemination is bolstered, but they gain little practical benefit. They have less initiative. This panel controls a heavy door leading to a treasure room beyond, which is filled with cognition. If we can work out the right commands, we can reap the rewards with it. Container of some sort that in seemingly has raw binary seeding within. Clearly, it is of Xenos origin. Sparks of data leak through the age sealant and use to contain the treasure within. Immense enthusiasm. Acquire at all costs. One of the Necron War forms remains after the rest of the fallen constructs teleport away. It fades in and out of reality, as if about to disappear. We can choose to extract it. We can choose to execute it. We can take the targeted sensors. Or execute it. Cogitating. Necron transport malfunction possible. Rare. Replication of circumstance. Desirable. Plotting commences. The core completes the Necron's elimination with a rad round through the head. The contract only completes its phasing out. And now we do the mission. Necrons reanimate one turn faster, but we have the better. Better grasp on the battle.
shoot everything. Ten HP with two energy. Stats six health, two physical. Select the weapon that is not in range for the target. Look for weapon icons to appear for the side target and check the range of the weapon.
Circumstances of evaluation. Confirm disappointing. No crimes employed to teleportation. Technology to achieve post destruction discorporation. Interrogative. Where do the remains go? Fascination intensifies. Necrons employ teleportation technology and weaponry. Calculating desire. Live targets for evaluating effects of gauze fire on human body. Conjecture. Most illuminating. And we have a new pistol. Returns from the tomb, frustrated by the lack of physical examples of Necron constructs. However, the data they have gathered on the phasing out of Necron remains and is illuminating in itself. Valuable <laughs> data present. It's greater than the past. The totality of human knowledge increased. Mission conclusion positive. I cannot say I support your conclusion, Scavola. Beneficial conclusion of itemization follows. Necron dis discorporation witnessed. Enemy constructs destroyed less than zero. Necron combat performance evaluated. Chances of functioning Necron available for dissection increased. My emotional core is returning sensations of frustration and resentment, and I choose to acknowledge them. The lives of my tech priests are not there to be risked for the fulfillment of your desires, tech acquisitor. They are there to be risked for the acquisition of intelligence, learning, sacred knowledge. Your understanding equals approval. A little bit of damage takes off some heal, but we gain it back. Tenfold. Canticle unlocked. Next physical attack deals three physical damage. Let's give her a call. Come on. Two health, three movement, or one physical damage. I'll definitely take the uh I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you guys for joining me on this. Again, thank you guys for checking this out. This has been Phantom Echo, signing off.